have a really good, strong foundation in your technical skills you don't have to learn like a to z of uh, everything about c++ or everything about java hello everyone and welcome to our youtube channel placement interview and today we have with us mr pratham agrawal and he is here to share his experience with us so mr pratham agrawal before moving ahead with the interview first of all welcome to our channel placement interview and would you tell us something about yourself um sure sonia first of all i would say thank you for inviting me here and it is a really great opportunity to tell about like what i do and how i get there and it will be really good to uh, whoever the viewers are for this channel and uh, it will be really great to see how uh, like uh, we getting all these opportunities and how uh, everything is done so uh, apart from that a uh, question about like uh, about myself uh, i am my full my full name as i already told pratham agarwal i am currently working as an sde in amazon and uh, i am a 2021 graduate and i have done my bachelor's in uh, computer science from nit kurukshetra and i have got like 6 uh, or 7 months of experience in amazon working so i am new here as a fresher so yeah okay so congratulations on your first job and could you please tell us something about the company you are currently working with Yeah, so like everyone must have heard about Amazon, and uh, I'm currently working in a org which is known as Employee Services. So in Amazon, uh, most of the folks that who are preparing for Amazon interviews and all must have heard about leadership principles in Amazon. So there earlier there was like 14 leadership principles, and now there are two added uh, last year in April. So one of the leadership principle is strive to be the earth's best employer. So. Amazon is working towards it, and uh, I'm working on a org which is employee services. And uh, uh, what it does is what it aims to make uh, life easier for the employees in Amazon. Uh, we have a strength of around more than a million employees in Amazon, and we are creating the impact on their lives. So we are creating software solutions to yeah um, make their lives easier. and about the company you have already heard about it right you most of us already are shopping in amazon uh, they they have their, their retail product apart from that they have other uh, products like fire stick and uh, alexa eco you have heard of it right so yeah nothing more to be told about it so as you know that there comes a roles and responsibilities in every job profile so could you please brief us about your job profile specific Yes, yeah, sure. So as I already told you that I am a software development engineer, uh, I am SD. So my job, uh, my roles and responsibilities would be like, let's say there is a problem statement. Hey, Pratham, I need uh, this feature to be added in a product or this uh, thing that we like. Well, let's say we are building a website. So if there is a problem statement, hey, uh, if, can you add this feature? It would make the experience of customer really good and all that. So we receive the problem statement. what we do is uh, we design how are we going to implement it so there is a design phase after designing in designing we have a lot of approaches uh, we uh, get it verified from our senior engineers and all after getting one approach uh, verified we go towards the implementation we implement it through our code and all after that we test it and all like unit testing integration testing we all do that apart from that we launch it in a beta and then to a prod so this is mostly a life cycle of how we develop a feature so as you know that with the skills are really very important in any career we talk about so what are the skills that are actually needed for your job um sure so for the skills i would say mostly what is the technical skills is required uh, some what soft skills as i already mentioned uh, communication skills are required so um technical skills comes uh, from like programming and all uh, a little bit of experience in development like uh, if you have built if you know like html css and all those like, those are very basic stuff but your foundation should be very strong apart from that uh, in terms of communication we as a, as a journey of software engineer you, uh, every day you have meetings with a lot of people Uh, to understand what product i am building and what feature i am building and uh, how they will collaborate with us so communication is a very important role here so there was a time where like uh, i had a meeting with the one us guy and uh, i was like kya bol rahe <laughs> like i did not understand his accent at all what, what is he saying and also 
I would have to like understand him once I like met him like in you know, a one-on-one and all. So I I started understanding his accent and what he's speaking. He was he was not from US. I don't know like uh, certain kind of accent, but uh, uh, I I didn't understand like it is very very important to have a really good communication. So yeah, if you have a good communication and you are really good in technical skills, uh, yeah, you are you will do good. So, any resources and platforms that you want to mention for the technical skills that you said? Yeah. So, for any resources and platforms, if you ask, uh, I'm I'm not too sure about the communication skills. That would be like how you grow as a personality, how you talk to others, and all where you have education. Also, I I, I don't have much uh, because I didn't uh, learn English and all those things from any platform. Uh, basically, just communicating with others. uh if you talk about the technical skills uh, it is mostly like uh, the very foundation and stuff mostly from internet basically like uh, um gigs for gigs and uh, uh, other technical stuff like operating systems and all those part that was a part of my syllabus uh, in my btech but also uh in internet there are a lot of sites where you can go all through all that material and it will really help you to uh, really get those foundation built okay so during the recruitment period how was the question and answer process handled at your company so question and answer can you can you elaborate a bit about uh, this question um, i do not understand like is is this like interview questions or something no no you just don't have to share like what were the questions actually just yeah. the format or the process of how it was conducted Okay, so interview process basically. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, just let me start with uh, first of all, I applied. Uh, uh, it, it is a off-campus uh, placement, not an on-campus. So I applied uh, uh, in Amazon Careers. Uh, also, I would like to tell the folks that uh, um, people say it's like uh, referral mela hoga tabi wa like off-campus. It is not referral or not. you can go and directly apply to careers if uh, you will definitely get a uh, test link uh, the first process is uh, you will get a, a assessment link in which they will uh, they, they they will be asking to around two to three questions uh, basically around uh, programming uh, it won't be very difficult it, uh, you won't have to be a, like a seven star coach or or a six star coach for that uh, it would be very basics and uh, you will be able, uh, they will also ask you to write the complexity of what we have written and how have you come up with that solution so this is a part of the assessment link after after creating that you will have a briefing round where the recruiter will tell you like how your interviews will be conducted so my interviews were like uh, three uh, i had like three rounds of interviews uh, on a single day two were technical and one was my hiring manager after that uh, uh, after you clear clear all those you will get a bar reserve round and uh, you will get you, you will get to know about what is amazon bar reserve and uh, why uh, how to prepare for it okay mr pratham so any advices that you want to give us to our future aspirants who wants to join the same role as yours Yes yeah, so for the future aspirants uh, i would say that uh, uh, just uh, have a really good, strong foundation in your technical skills you don't have to learn like a to z of uh, everything about c++ or everything about java just basic stuff like uh, how to you know if, if we talk about like uh, trees and graphs so like basic basic stuff like you should know how recursion works how how are you going to optimize a solution by using memoization or or other things so you just need to have very strong foundation on this so we wish you a very best of luck from our team placement interview and thank you so much for joining in with us today of course your video will be helpful for the viewers as well and viewers do comments in the comment down below and let us know your views and you can also connect to mr pratham the link will be in the description box below